Uh, let me ask you this. What do you, what do you think in your opinion for people that are struggling uh, with the defense side of the mount position? So the guys that unfortunately just keep getting stuck on the bottom. Uh, what, what do you think is the, the fundamental, most important concept for them to understand in order to defend and then eventually escape the bottom mount? Uh, okay, so you have to think, so thinking on my, the attacking side, right? When I say you need to, I will adjust my position before I go for any submission attempt. So let's say, usually when you, right when you mount someone, you're not in the best position to mount, right? You, you just mounted someone, now you're just holding while the person is trying to escape and slowly you will adjust your mount position, right? So let's say my main, one of my main goals when I'm on top, before I do any attack, I want to get into a, a slightly higher mount. Because if I'm, you know, if I'm sitting very low on your hips, that, I mean, I, I'm, I am in a strong position, I'm in, I'm in the mount, but in the mount itself, I'm not in a strong position. I'm mounted on you, I'm controlling, but I'm not ready to attack. Like if, if I'm mounting very low on you, if I'm sitting on your hips and I'm trying to go for an arm lock, it's silly because I will lose it. You know, I need to, to, to be in a higher mount and then it's way easier to go for an arm lock attempt. So if I'm in the bottom, so my first goal is to, to, to try not to let you put me in an even worse position. I don't want my arms here. You know, I don't want you to, you know, mounting, crushing my arms, squeezing my arms against the head. So those are the things that I'm, I'm mainly worried about it. So I want to keep you low, you know, keep a good difference with my arms. And as you try to progress, to try to adjust the mount, then I'm looking for escape. That's when I'm looking for a way out, you know. So first... I try to, if, you, if you're in a very high mount on me, I'm not going to try to bridge. I'm going to try to push myself up and get into a lower mount, you know, it's stopping you crushing my arms so high, and then I will try to escape. So I think, you know, it's, if, if, if I try to, to escape while I'm in a worse position, I will completely open myself. And that's when you attack, you know, because... You're already in, a, in, in the strongest position in the mount. You're very high. You're ready to attack. So if I'm trying to escape at that moment, just bridging out or something, that's when what you're looking for, because I will open myself in, inevitable. You know, when I try to escape, I do open myself because my arms they can be very tight defending my neck, but for me to escape, I need to kind of use the arms. So you know, eventually they, they go away from my body. You know, you, you try the arm or you try to push the person slightly lower. So that means you're not as tight, right? This I'm very tight. It's hard for you to submit me as long as I stay here. You need to kind of start open space. So if the moment that I bridge, that's the space you need. Boom, the attack will come. Excellent. And see, that, 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 that's a concept that I really wish I understood sooner because, man, I was that guy as a white and even as a blue belt. I was that guy that, like, if you had side control on me and you were cross-facing me and you had uh, the arm under my arm, under my shoulder, like, really tight, good control, I was the guy that was trying to blast in with a, with a hip escape and just never working. It wasn't until later on that I that one of my instructors told me, Ryan, dude, you have to, like, breathe and wait for the guy to move. <laughs> like, you're not going to explode your way out of this. I'm like, yeah, but I'm using the technique. He's like, no, you're using the technique wrong, man. So I, that, that, I love that you pointed that out. It's all about in order for them to, to progress or whether it's an attack with a submission or a transition to, a, to another position, they have to create a little bit of space to do so. Um, yes. And so obviously, you know, as, as you get more advanced, it becomes the art of doing those things without creating any space or as little space as possible. But there's always that little bit. So I love that you pointed that out. That's really great.